All right, welcome to the video. So in today's one, I'm actually heading off to London. Uh, I've got a gig there with Megan Wynn, and um, we're gonna be playing in a brewery, I think it is, some like signature brew or something like that. We're gonna be supporting a band called Swim Deep, um, which, to be honest, I've never heard of before, but it should be a good one, and I'm looking forward to it. We're currently on our way round to the drummer's house, which is where uh, Megan's mum is gonna pick us up. Uh, Megan's mum's currently driving us down to London, which is very nice of her. But because we've got like loads of equipment we need to take, um, often the boot gets full up dead quickly, which means that you've got to bring stuff into the car with you, you know, and have it down by your legs and any place it can fit, which makes for quite the uncomfortable sort of travel circumstance. It's all right for short journeys, but because we're going to London, it's going to be like three or four hours. So yeah, I'm not too looking forward to that. And also at the uh, two and a half hour mark or roundabouts then, your ass gets incredibly sore just from sitting down for so long. So yeah, we'll put up with all that. But uh, it should be a good day and I'm looking forward to it. There it is, Greg's. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Greg's man just said bless you. Right, so uh, we're on our way now to London. Uh, we've just stopped at a little service station uh, just outside of Birmingham. Uh, we've already made one stop actually at our service station because uh, we wanted to get some food, you know, like, because everyone was hungry and uh, I got some chewing gum and a newspaper as well, which is quite bizarre. I've never read a newspaper before, just wanted to see what it was all about, but uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. But yeah, we're just at this service station now and uh, got Reese here. Say hello, Reese. I'll do, I'll do. So yeah, you can see dead exciting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do silly things? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I've just come up with a new idea for the video and basically because we're a little bit bored in the car what we're going to do is film random people on the motorway Home with me <laughs> You can't see me <laughs> So right, that wasn't actually as good as I thought it'd be, but uh, no, no. that concludes the new feature of filming random people on the motorway. On the motorway. Yeah. Room, room. Bloody hell. So uh, on the rider today, we've got this uh, signature brew, Studio Lager Pilsner. So we're gonna do an unboxing of it, right. Oh, wow. Wow. I think we need to move around, James. Let's go with a second feature. <laughs> I mean, and then we'll do a, a review of the... Um... Can't wait to give it... Can't wait to give it a try. Ooh. Verdict? Oh. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> James is going to give it a try now. with one hand and then filmed with the other. Right, so we've uh, we've done the sound check now. The sound check went pretty well. However, where I keep my um, hearing protection, which is on my keys, uh, I opened up the compartment where they are and looked inside and there was none there. Um, so the first song we played in the sound check, it was ear piercing. Like I thought my ears were about to explode. Luckily, Neris, uh, who's Megan's mum, had some spares to hand, which she's uh, kindly lent me. Thank you very much. No worries which made it far more bearable and it didn't feel like my ears were going to explode anymore. But yeah, just waiting to play now. The venue's pretty cool to be honest. I mean, it's like a big room though, so like all the sound is bouncing off the walls loads. But it's more just interesting because it's in a brewery. 
but it's pretty cool. You know, I can say I've played in a brewery, which not many people will be able to do. Like, there's some of the big vat things, and there's more inside, and then there's just like lots of cakes. There's like offices and stuff up there. Then there's a bit for the members of the public in there, like the sort of bar area, uh, and then and then sort of through there, that's where we're playing in a, in a venue in there. probably be able to hear actually but uh swim deeper on at the moment um, just sort of down there um now i've never heard of swim deep before but um just from listening to the the set so far it's really good it's really good music the sounds they're using it's all it all just seems like on point we played our set it went pretty well i think we're probably going to shoot off relatively soon actually i don't know what time it is hang on right i've just checked and it's a uh, quarter to ten so that means if we leave now we'll probably be getting back at maybe two ish two in the morning not ideal because i've got work tomorrow and yeah it seems pretty worth it to be honest i mean i've had a great time here so far at this signature brew place basically just been drinking a load of signature brew studio lager brewed with music it says it's very accurate actually because if you have a look at this you can clearly see that all the music's resonating into those big barrels there Sam wants to be in the video, so there he is. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, we're currently on the way out, but yeah, it was a very good gig, and um, and that was actually um, the second to last one of the year. So we've only got one more to go now, um, but very good gig and uh, thoroughly enjoyable. Actually, there's a few more details I'd like to fill you in on. Um, so I've just got back home, and it's now three in the morning. I didn't really get any sleep uh, on the way back in the car, just because I was quite focused on the road and stuff. The sat nav took us quite a strange way back. We were on the motorway for most of it, but just as we sort of got to Birmingham, it took us on some sort of like windy roads for ages and ages and ages. I actually think it made it take a bit longer than it should have done. It's not too bad because I'm home now, but I'm gonna go to sleep now because I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I've got work tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, but it's not as bad as our guitarist James, who's got work at uh, seven o'clock, I think it is. So he has to get up at six, but yeah, still quite a fun day out. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in a bit.